Honda motorcycle and scooter India is preparing for the next decade in the Indian mobility space. And this includes not only new products, but also upgrading its manufacturing facility and building a new vertical for electric mobility. Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India has made some very important announcements when it comes to its future roadmap. The company will be making locally assembled motorcycles and locally made motorcycles at its Manisar plant that has just been upgraded and all of these models will be exported to different markets globally. The Honda Manisar plant has been rebranded as a global resource factory. The company currently exports to about 40 countries worldwide and the plant upgrade will help the manufacturer build and export world-class products from the Indian facility. Moreover, the plant now has a 360-degree state-of-the-art turnaround process with all corporate functions at HMSI operating under one roof and one location. This has been done in a bid to improve efficiency across teams and verticals. Honda is also working on introducing flex fuel technology in India. It is exploring the development of flex fuel engines to suit Indian requirements and is working with its Brazilian counterpart for the same. This is in line with the uh, government uh, direction in the future. So regarding to the uh, uh, Indian energy uh, strategy uh, for future. So we will apply uh, the our, uh, Brazilian flex fuel technology even in India in line with government direction. And then, uh, but difference is difficulties because in Brazil, uh, Euro 4 level our emission norm but in India, uh, Euro 5 emission, uh, emission mode, uh, B6, with flex fuel engine is a bit difficult, tough for us. So therefore, it takes some time, but surely under now the uh, investigation, technical wise, so you can see actual product sooner or later. While flex fuel engines are still some time away from launch, Honda has announced a new entry-level commuter motorcycle that promises to be a fun addition to its lineup. The upcoming offering is currently under development and aims to bring back volumes as the market shows signs of recovery in the post-pandemic era. Lastly, HMSI has set up a new vertical called Honda Power Pack Energy India. It will provide energy solutions for electric vehicles. The new venture will see Honda locally build swappable batteries used to power electric three-wheelers. We will create a Bangalore a success story in a year time. So what I can see, we will have a strongest network of battery swapping solution in a Bangalore city in a year time. And once we will create the success story, we will move to different uh, tier 1 cities in India. Maybe in future you will see our station, Honda e swap station, outside malls or uh, you know at a bus stops. Based on customer convenience, we'll, so we will look for a, you know, by partnering with the many, many people going forward. Honda Powerpack Energy has tied up with HPCL and Bengaluru Metro for establishing its swapping stations and the 1.35 kilowatt hour battery pack will be available for swaps at a nominal cost. Let's give you a quick look at what the battery looks like. These are generation 2 batteries and they are more efficient, more powerful and have better range as well. But what we have here is an electric two-wheeler and we'll just give you a quick look at what the battery looks like. So let's get the battery out. Uh, now this is a 10 kg battery, it's portable and that's the whole point of a swappable battery and uh, well what you need is a key that I have here and I just need to tap it in here and it'll check for the card and then ask me to uh, essentially place the batteries inside so we can put it here and in this case I have two batteries so both of these go inside and we we'll can remove the next two batteries, uh, which are fully charged. So it's checked, the batteries are fine, and it will now tell me which batteries to remove, and that's them. These are fully charged, all done in about 30 seconds, and they go back in. Now, of course, these batteries are portable, and they will be powering electric three-wheelers first. But once the swapping stations are in place, Bangalore is the first city where you get it, uh, there is theoretically a possibility that two-wheelers will also be on the cards for Honda. A big opportunity to establish enough infrastructure for battery charging the station with e-rickshaw, the, the, by the uh, e-swap system, 
After the, uh, to create it enough charging point among the India, why not HMSI start produce and uh, uh, launching of the e-scooter? Uh, because the, then after that, customer can easily to find out uh, the battery charging sta station uh, the everywhere. Important things: how to make it make it India buy 100% major components battery, motor, and uh, control unit. Uh, make India with Honda technology India. So it takes some time, but you will able to realize what we are thinking uh, with actual product uh, till the end of this financial year. Battery swapping is expected to be the next big push for electric vehicles in India, helping reduce the acquisition price and cost of ownership by a substantial margin. With battery swapping policy in the works, promising better safety standards and interoperability, Honda seems to have an early bird advantage when compared to other legacy players. Honda Two Wheeler India's future roadmap has the brand covered with short-term and long-term strategies that will see the two-wheeler maker focus on building products not just for India but for global markets as well. The Japanese two-wheeler giant is working harder than ever to adapt to the rapidly changing market dynamics.